Awesome. All right, for this problem, uh, what we want to do is we want to determine what is going to be the vertex and what is going to be the uh, x-intercepts. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to remember uh, how are we going to write our um, equation into, um, into so we can find the vertex. So there's two forms that we use. We have our quadratic form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. And then we also have our standard form, which is equal to ax minus h squared plus k. And the easiest way to determine what the vertex is, is to put it into this form. So what we need to do is we need to determine how can I put this equation into um, standard form. Well, a lot of times, you know, we have to go and complete the square. Fortunately for this problem, we can see that this trinomial is already a perfect square. So I don't need to complete the square to get a squared uh, binomial. What I do is I notice that this is already x plus 2 squared. Teachers, pardon the interruption. At this time, will you please turn your TV to channel 6 for the Mustang News? Always every single time. All right, we won't go through the vertexes, or we won't go to the intercepts. We'll just go through the vertexes and finish it up. So therefore, what you guys see is um, now that it's in my standard form, I don't have a k, which is zero, and my a is one. So, anyways, my vertex for this problem is going to be a negative, negative. I'm sorry. Yeah, negative two, zero. Okay. That's how you find the vertex of a um, quadratic.